First Chronicles chapter 27 is, is kind of a difficult chapter to read. It's, it's all about leaders, it's advisors, it's commanders. It's all these groups of people, heads of tribes that assisted David as he's, well, leading the whole nation. And they, they mention all kinds of civil officers and the list goes on and on about these people who are coming alongside of David as he rules and reigns. Listen to just one verse, verse 33, says Ahithophel was the king's counselor and Hushai the archite was the king's companion. So you have leaders and commanders, advisors and companions. And, and it's a great picture of you and I, the body of Christ needing people who not only come alongside of us, but who are trusted advisors, who are companions. People who give us godly counsel and direction, not, not just in their words, but in the way that they live. So, so, so listen for just a second. You and I, we all need, well, people who can speak into our lives, people we trust, people who not only say things to us, but people who live in such a way that we were challenged by it, we're encouraged by it, we're, we're advised by the way they live. And this is what this chapter, 1 Chronicles chapter 27, is all about. Those people who intersected into the life of David and he's receiving wise counsel. So maybe you have a difficult decision or some choices to make right now. Ask the Lord to give you a wise counselor through his word, through his spirit, through a leader, through a friend. And also ask God to make you one for others, that God would give you a heart to be an advisor and an example to those around you. This is what's happening here in this chapter. God is using all these different people to impact David in a righteous way. And may the Lord use you and I, not just to receive counsel, but through our lifestyle and through the things we have to say, to be wise and trusted advisors and companions for the people that God has put in our lives.